thank all the subscribers and viewers and the Iron Self channel for giving me love and support. I really appreciate it. You guys are a tremendous force. I don't know how I do without you guys, especially the, the new viewers that are interested. Just make sure you watch all my videos so you get a better idea of what's happening through its transformation through manifestation. And for the subscribers, thanks very much. I'll keep upgrading my uh, videos through the body capacitors and ego systems. And uh, keep subscribing. I'll keep uh, formulating and letting you guys know what's happening through the solar systems. So uh, today is uh, an interesting day. Um, there's been questions about uh, astral travel and I'm going to explain to you one particular that drew my attention was this person is sleeping at night and all of a sudden uh, it comes to a point where they don't want to go any further they're not sure what to do they get scared uh, what do I do if I get to a certain point and I'm not sure of anything I don't want to go any higher well, the first thing you got to look at is make sure your chakra formations are all cleansed, you're eating your proper diets, and you're putting positive thoughts. You have to put positive thoughts and meditations all the time, every single time. As soon as you put a bad thought, your meditation goes awry. It gets distorted. It goes up to space continuum. It transfers all that kinetic energy through its body capacitors. Okay goes back into the crown chakra and what happens is whatever you're communicating with will come back at you and it's very important that you let yourself go through the positive feeds not the bad feeds the positive feeds because um, meditation is all based on uh, mind over matter right it's all the mind through the body and through the soul especially the conductor, which is the heart, the synchronizing heart, the infinitive heart, the self-discovery heart, the center of everything. The multi-universe is combined through the sacred heart, through the sacred universe, through the sacred mind, through the sacred multi-universes. Everything that has its own combination through space continuum. So it's very important when you ask for project, astral travel, outer body experience, whatever. Make sure you put positive thoughts and protect your light. Use your archangels. Um, the higher you go, uh, I recommend that you use more angels uh, for your definitive light. Everybody has a prayer. You create that prayer and that prayer will help you. Um, it will let you go a lot higher through a higher dimension. So you can use that frequency and balance. So you can understand what's happening with your body and your ecosystems. So when you transfer all those energies through your chakra formations, which are the energy cycles and the energy cells, it goes up through the crown chakra, okay, teleports into space continuum. And when you're meditating, Try to meditate something that's positive, something that uh, you, you, you want to do in life, something that you want to see, something that you want to create, something you want to become. But it's very important not to benefit yourself. It's also important to benefit others. Try to think of the community, humanity, it's earth, it's new earth. You know, how we can better the new earth by cleansing it because it is a feeding source. Like I said before, everything is a feeding source. So it's extremely important when you ask for project and you're sleeping and you're not sure what's going on. Um, positive. Everything's positive. And uh, you can do it. It's easy to do. All you got to do is just train the brain. The brain accepts through the mind capacitor. The mind conceptor, capacitor is through the mind um, <clears throat> conception. And all those calibrations and everything that's in the in the mind itself through the cerebral you'll get a better understanding what meditation is through the yin and the yang so if you're ever having trouble that's what you do and always cleanse extremely cleanse your uh, your chakra formations they have to be cleansed 
you're taking the old and bringing in the new. Okay, so you're energizing your body every single time you meditate. Day, afternoon, or night, it doesn't matter. It's very important. So um, there's been other questions too about, uh, I mean, I try to answer so many questions as I can, you know, and uh, what I try to do is I try to simplify it for you so you get a better understanding what's happening through your upgrades and your systems. Because everything is connected through its uh, solar space, solar system, solar mecha space. And it has tremendous connection force that's going through space continuum. Uh, one particular one uh, that was interesting was stated, what do I do with um, my, my lights to a higher dimension? And I said, well, okay. One thing you got to look at too is when you meditate through your vibrations, you're going through a higher dimension and you got to change those frequency levels. So you go higher and higher and higher. But every time you go higher, you have to protect your light. Remember, the higher you go, the more you got to protect yourself. Because you are a human vessel, but you are connected through the higher self. And the higher self connects through space and its continuum. So when the higher is self is in space, it's very important that you protect your light. Um, if you don't protect your light, what happens is that all that transformation energy that goes into you, you're not sure exactly what intelligence you're dealing with. So it's extremely important that you protect that light so nothing bounds, nothing breaks frequency whatsoever through its vibration and its harmonics. So don't be as scared to go at a higher dimension because everybody wants to follow up on their vibrations and that's what I'm doing. I mean, doing accumulation through its vibrational signals. So I'm bringing everybody up to their balance and it's up to them to find their higher self so they can go to that higher dimension so they can reach the fifth platitude and live on harmonics. Not everybody's going to live on harmonics all at once, but it's, it, it's exciting to know that once you get to that platitude, you know you can change your frequencies through its balance. And you can use the more information and know more of this. Okay? You don't want to jump up your frequencies because it will go like this and it will combust and they get a virus, just like a computer, right? And then you get to default the system and then send it back and, and everything, all the web pages and all that are just, it doesn't work well with the computer. It's the same thing with the human vessel. The human vessel is a body, right? But the higher self is the body when it comes to space continuum. So the more realism you see as the higher self does, so it's protecting you in space and on earth. But the true nature of the higher self, it only understands space. It only understands calibrations, modifications, calculations. Uh, space continuum, intelligence, plantations, mind formations, um, anything that has to do with uh, laser mechanisms, anything to do with electric fields, uh, force fields, energy fields, um, all those are connected through its solar lights. And the solar lights are antimantium. Antimantium is, is the continuous um, light that is contained within the higher self. Now that's the whole idea is to reach that ultimate element through space continuum. And once you reach that, your meditations are always cleansed and your higher self is more connected through you as a body, a vessel. Okay. So I don't want to anybody get confused about, you know, your light formations and what's happening with your vibrations and how do I go to a higher frequency and stuff like that. Well, you go through higher frequencies. So you, at that point, in that particular time, you understand your balance and where you're going from there. So when you reach that point, you can control your higher self 
through space. So I want to make that very well clear on how you do that and how you accumulate your light. And your light is always lit as long as you meditate. Uh, it's very important not to forget who you are and uh, always, always drink lots of water. Every day I change my diet because I the energies that go into me are different. They're never the same. That's another thing too, when you get your energies through its cycles, when it goes into it, uh, what it does is it totally absorbs the body capacitors. And sometimes you could be flushed with so much energy, you don't know what to do, or you just, you, you, your eyes, you can't stay awake, you know, or you just, whoa, what's going on here? There's way too much information. Um, take one step at a time. Uh, really listen to the energies of what's going on. Some are stronger than others. But the energy that goes into you, they give you the answers. And the higher self does all the work. Through the collective. So, <clears throat> you're the source. Higher self is the guide. And the collective is the information. So hopefully that simplifies everything that you need to know when you're going into a med meditation. Um, just keep yourself controlled at all times. If you get scared and you, you're you not sure of anything, like I said, don't meditate. Try to do more research, you know, uh, go on Google. I mean, there's, there's so much information. What is meditation? What does it do? People are taking, you know, a lot of classes in Pilates. And, uh, you know, there's so many different uh, systems that you can take through the physicality of the body. But everything is controlled through the mind. Okay? It's the mind, body, and soul. Those are the three kinetic ways that you use at all times. All times. One can't live without the other. So, it's very important to know that too. So, like I said, I appreciate the comments and the questions. I think it's great that you guys are uh, learning. Um, things are going at a continuous pace right now through its solar systems. And uh, we're getting kinetic waves through the energy cycles. The solar systems through the... Um, uh, the body capacitors and um, the supernova. Like I said, the supernova is extremely fast. So, what we left off with was the blinky the blink with the stars, and um, all that's going to go into you. You feel a spark from head to toe. Now, what's going to happen is I think I said in my last video too, I was stating that you're going to go through the matrix, the line formations, understand the symmetrics uh, between one distance to another from here to here. How far does it take me for me to get there? Remember, you got to use the string theory, right? The cross referencing and the signals. Very important to understand the signals. <clears throat> so, your telegraphing waves are going through communication right now through space continuum and it's allowing you to use more intelligence through higher dimensions and those higher dimensions are going through other galaxies and other solar systems so the mecha systems are connecting through the line formations and the line formations are setting its pyramids and its pyramids are sending its um, setting all the synchronizing souls through the meditation um, so we're going through a matrix grid where you your eyes fluctuate and they change and all of a sudden you see the car, you're looking at it for a second and then it just, and it just, okay, you know the higher self comes out and you see the, the white and it flies, same thing with the car, the car is trying to communicate, so when the car is communicating, you're now building um, friendship through relationship. And eventually have partnership. Once you have all those three, you can connect anywhere into the solar systems. 
and connect with any intelligence, any plantations, um, any galactic family, soul family. Always get connected with your galactic family. It's extremely important. And understand your command. Like, what is what is your purpose? What is your mission? Um, everybody, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, they go from different planets. There's other uh, synchronizing souls that go through another galactic system, uh, star systems. Uh, they're in spaceships. They're... Uh, they dwell themselves through meditations and their pyramids. Um, they like to meditate through waters continuum, uh, mountain formations, volcanic rock, ground formations. Um, they like to meditate through the galactic sun or the super moon. All these things have its connection. So once you get full collaboration with all three, then you're at a continuous force through space continuum. So hopefully that helps you out and uh, guide you on where you need to go through the vibrational signals and its frequencies through harmonics. Once you get a understanding of what's happening with your meditation and being comfortable with your higher self, you can use that kinetic force to go to that speed of altitude through its dimensions. So. Um, you know, I think that's good for now. I really do. I'll keep you upgraded and uh, I'll let you know what's happening um, through its solar systems and its intelligence. So everything is going as planned right now and you're going through the matrix and you're still going to be seeing that uh, it's kind of like a, a visual, you know, of a another dimension. You're in that matrix. Every time you wake up, you're going to be in that matrix. Your eyes are going to change your body. You feel like you just vortex from here to here in the seconds and you don't know what happened. Okay. That's what's going to happen now. So you're getting used to your body capacitors and your speed. And the only way to do that is through the human vessel. So the higher self is telling you exactly what you need to do through its vortexing, time warping, time jumping, time leaping. Um, you know, I'll talk to you about hyperspace. I'm pretty sure I didn't I mention that too about hyperspace. That's a totally different uh, notification when it comes to uh, higher altitude of its frequencies through vibrations. So I'll talk to you that later in my next video. So thanks again, as this is your unified ascension Azeroth from the angelic realms, supreme being of light, gateway of the river of light, calling it. Adios.